Hey guys, uh, my name is Ethan. Today I'm going to go through a quick introduction on COFAX Power PDF. So uh, why COFAX Power PDF? Uh, I believe now uh, because of pandemic, a lot of people have been working from home. Um, I guess uh, there's a lot of challenge uh, when you're working from home uh, uh, kind of environment. You know, you know, for example, things like, you know, you have, if you have a document, uh, you want to fill out a form, you want to do a, a, a signing, uh, you know, it's, it's harder these days because uh, what used to be in an office environment, you can do a printout, you can fill up the form, you can scan, and uh, you can send it to the person. But these days, it becomes harder. And along with that, uh, we, we are working from home, you probably have to manage document digitally. How do you combine a document? How do you merge a document? Um, this has all become uh, pretty new and challenging uh, uh, in terms of the work from home environment, right? Uh, I. Hence, you know, today I've collated some of the reasons uh, why and um, I kind of come up with top five reasons why you should be getting a PDF editor and uh, why Cofax Power PDF could be one of the solution for you, um, for your consideration. So uh, first of all, PDF manipulation, you know, uh, if let's say you have two or three files, you want to combine them to, together, some of the simple actions here, uh, or if you want to switch the pages around, if you want to delete a page, um, change the orientation, um, you know, how PDF uh, could do some of that. Forms filling, like I mentioned earlier, how do you kind of mitigate the thing where uh, in a home environment where you do not have a printer, how do you fill out a form digitally? And how do you do a simple PDF signing? So of course, there's actually quite a few uh, you know, approaches to signing in the market today. You probably heard of DocuSign, Adobe Sign, and things like that. Uh, but today I just want to touch on a very analog way of signing, which is a handwritten signature. It's just embedding of a signature on the document to sign up, right? Uh, point number four, PDF security. How do you secure a PDF? How do you lock down a PDF to prevent people from making change to a PDF uh, on the other side? Uh, I'll touch on that as well. And last but not least, uh, OCR conversion to text. I mean, this is, uh, you probably have some legacy scan document and you wish to convert it to text instead of retyping everything. Um, you know, Power PDF probably could help you, right? So probably you ask why, why Covex Power PDF, right? Uh, first of all, uh, the ease of use, right? Uh, I will touch on that later in my demo. Power PDF is, looks pretty straightforward and some of the features and buttons looks a lot like Microsoft uh, Ribbon style, style interface. Uh, you know, you could kind of uh, pick it up really easily. The next thing is PDF is now open standard and we adhere to the ISO standard of PDF, right? So meaning to say whatever you make change in uh, uh, Power PDF, if you send across to anyone else using other PDF editor, they could see the same settings as well. Okay, the next thing is uh, connected to some of the key market solutions. Uh, we integrate with uh, SharePoint, Documentum, Dropbox, uh, OneDrive most recently. Uh, so you can actually pick up the file from the OneDrive respectively and open up in Power PDF and you can just work it off uh, directly uh, without having to go to the folder respectively and open up, right? Uh, PDF security, we can do PDF encryption encryption up to AES 256-bit. And of course, last but not least, we also do an integrate with DocuSign as well. For those who are using DocuSign today, um, you can definitely log in to DocuSign within Power PDF. Okay, so with that, let me just jump jump into Cofax Power PDF and kind of run through some of the uh, features and let you understand how easy it is and how convenient it is for you to use Power PDF in your everyday work today. Right. Um, so first of all, you can see that the interface here looks very straightforward. Um, it looks like, um, you know, Microsoft style, as I mentioned earlier, you can open up quite a few tabs here, some of the files here. Uh, from here, if you click on document assembly, you can just go ahead to manipulate your PDF around, right? Switch the pages, you can do uh, select a few pages, you can do rotation as well. And of course, uh, inserting of document, you can go to folder, you can even do a drag and drop, right? So deletion, you can also delete a page away. Oh, sorry. Delete a page away from here. Delete. Okay. And you get deleted. And of course, uh, going back to here, you can do a conversion to a word file, right? Uh, using the default settings, when you click OK, uh, the file will be converted. All right. So from here, it gets converted to a word file and you can just work it off the, the Word document, right? So nothing new, this is just a typical PDF conversion here. Um, and of course, uh, some of the actions, like if you want to make a quick 
uh, PDF uh, editing of the document. So this is a digital form document. Uh, just go to edit text. You can just change off the numbers, right? So of course, here are some of the PDF uh, manipulation features. And, and there's pretty a lot more. Uh, just feel free to download a trial to explore as well, right? The next thing is, uh, you know, form filling. As I mentioned just now, you know, how do you fill out a form here, right? I think uh, a typical scenario is people will print out in the office setting, uh, fill out the form with pen and paper, and of course, scan and send it to the person. So now we can directly skip away the print and scan method by just using this feature called typewriter. You can just go ahead to fill out the form, right? Uh, fill out all the necessary details, right? And of course, uh, signing off, right? Uh, again, just how I mentioned about uh, handwritten signature, you can go ahead to create and embed all your default signature from here, and you can just go ahead to sign off the document, right? And also from here, you can also place uh, company stamps, right? And you can just go ahead to put your company stamps in as well, right, on the document, right? So moving on to form filling, if let's say you have more sophisticated forms like this, uh, you can actually turn the form into e-form as well, by clicking on forms, form typer, and we can turn the form into an electronic form, right? So once the form's been converted, you can just go ahead to fill up the form here. So in fact, you can actually create, save the form and send it to anyone using a, a free Adobe reader, free reader. They can also look at the same uh, e-form and you can fill up the form accordingly as well, right? Um, so that's form filling. So moving on to a bit of uh, document security. So just as I mentioned, if you have a document here, if you and it's pretty sensitive, if you were to send out to somebody who um, you do not wish to make any change to the PDF, right? Here's what you can do, right? Go to security, put up a, a password to the document by putting on security, set a permission, right? Uh, I'm going to restrict the, the permission to the document by restrict printing restrict changes and when I click OK, right, and now reset the password again. When I click OK, the document, you can see there's a bracket secure here, right? Let me just go ahead to save the document, right, and I'll probably name it as locked, right? At this moment, you're still on edit mode. Uh, let me just go ahead to exit this PDF and I'll go ahead to reopen the PDF. So this is the same scenario where if you already save off this uh, encrypted PDF and you send out to somebody, people will just open up and they realize that they can no longer edit the PDF. If you were to convert to Word, it's password protected. Um, if you go to file, if you attempt to print the PDF, it's also encrypted. Uh, you know, yeah, so that's uh, PDF protection. And last but not least, I'm going to run through is probably a quick uh, uh, way on how do you um, convert a scanned document to text, right? This is what we call OCR, object, object character recognition. So you can tell that this document looks pretty old. The, the text is slanted and, you know, it's, it's very blurry. So what we can do here is I'm going to convert this to a, a word file. But uh, along with that, I'm going to play around with the settings, right? I remove the rule lines, hyperlinks. I'm going to keep the header and footer of the letter. And when I click OK, right, rename, and uh, our OCR will start to recognize the image and turn it into text, right? So, um, and you can see that the convergence conversion is going on. And when it's 100%, we'll export into a word file for you. And right away, you can work on the text, right? So yeah, I mean, here are some ways on how we can help you to uh, work on your document uh, and, you know, five, Top, probably some of the top five reasons why you can, you should consider getting a PDF editor and hopefully is Kofax Power PDF. I thank you for listening in. I'm going to include the, the link to the trial of Kofax Power PDF uh, within this video. So if you have any question, just put in the comments uh, and let me know uh, what other contents you would like to have. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely create a video uh, based, based on your request. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day.